What's good everyone? We're here for another deck profile. Tell us your name, what did you do, and what deck did you play? Uh, my name is Oscar, went to a 3v3 in Wisconsin, and the deck that I played was uh, Flunderies. Nice. Any shoutouts before you uh, show us the list? Yeah, I got shoutouts for my team, uh, Team RKO, which is my friend Shaggy and Ken. Shoutouts for the shop that hosted the event, uh, Deals and Dragons. And shout out to uh, my buddy Eric for playtesting with me and trying to figure out the deck. All right. And uh, what player were you? I was uh, player A. All right, nice. All right, let's see the goo. All right, so first, uh, I'm going to start off with the standard stuff. Three, Robina. Uh, three, Eglin. Uh, two, Toucan. Uh, one Toucan, one Stree, and one Barrier Statue. Most of this stuff is standard. I like having these ratios. I think these ratios are uh, the most optimal. But sometimes I'm thinking having an extra Toucan could probably help out a lot. I got two M-Pen. M-Pen, having it at two helps out a lot as well. You could uh, banish one with uh, the map and get it reoccurred with the other one. Search it with uh, Eaglin very easily. You have one uh, Apex Avian and one Ryza. Ryza is really good uh, for bouncing cards back to the deck and back to the hand. It comes up a lot uh, when you're uh, trying to break the boards. And then Avian, also when you need a negate. It's very powerful as long as it's not a Hard once per turn, so as long as it's on the field and you keep bringing it on, uh, it's very, very powerful. For the spells, I got three map. Map is your combo starter, is very powerful. You can get your banished pile uh, set up really easily with this, so you start chain blocking and uh, continuing your combos. We got the new spell, Adventure. This helps out a lot trying to uh, work around the targeting effects to uh, try to interrupt you. And then on top of that, you get another Flunder card or field spells, making that six field spells, basically. Also, you gain the 500, so it helps out a lot in time. Also playing three, Book of Moon. The books are just like the Venture card. It helps you uh, dodge a bunch of hand traps, and uh, you can also use it offensively and defensively. Uh, what's with the the sad book of moon? Uh, this <laughs> is just it's a sad one right there. I've tried to get the other one, but nobody has one. <laughs> For my draw power, I have three prosperities. I prefer running prosperities over extravagance because with this, it lets you dig six uh, six deep, helping you get a the card that you need uh, a lot more efficient than getting two random cards with uh, extra. We got three. Dualities, I feel like Dualities is partnered really well with uh, extra, uh, Prosperity, just because with this you could uh, help you dig nine deep, and by that time you most likely be able to find the card that you need. I also have one Gold Sark. The Gold Sark really helps out with uh, your Banish Pile, helps you set up and start your Chain Blocks, kind of like a pseudo Field Spell. And then for my stuff, I like to play two Unexplored Winds and two Dreaming Town. I like this two and two ratio because going first, it helps you, uh, if you can open one of these cards and you're opening uh, hand, you can just search the second one, the other one that you don't have, and it, having your uh, back row set up is very powerful. Being able to send uh, cards from your opponent's field to the grave once uh, they try to set up on you. You don't like the counter trap? No, I don't like the counter trap. Uh, the counter trap, you kind of have to have a big bird on field, and sometimes if you do get interrupted, that card is basically a brick since it requires you to have one of the big birds. Yeah. For the hand traps, I like running Shifter. This deck could easily run it. Uh, most decks, it's a turn skip. It's, it's really broken. It'll help out a lot sometimes, or most of the time. I uh, also have three ash to help uh, just just help stop your opponent a little bit uh, more efficient. It's just very generic. And then also I have the one called by. That way if you do get interrupted, you can activate this. 
it's really good, especially when your opponent activates Lancia, that way you can continue on with your place. Uh, for the extra deck, I have playing two Luralist Nightingale, two Downard, and two Zeus. I like having the Zeus package here. Worst case scenario, what would happen? You do get interrupted, and you could just go into the Zeus package here, uh, Luralist, and then Downard Zeus for four material Zeus. It, help, it helps out a lot when you do, but this is worst case scenario, your like plan B. Also have one Starling Recital. You have the Christmas package. I got Nova, uh, Mechaba, and two Entus. I like th running these just in case you do get Maximist. This could uh, summon Mechaba, and then you can use this to pop a card on your opponent's side of the field as well. I have one uh, Fergit and one Omen. Searches for a card, and this helps you manipulate your hand just in case. And then the last two, I have Linkish Anima. A lot of people are starting to uh, not respect zones, so when you summon this, you could take one of your opponent's monsters. And then also for the last card, I have Underworld Goddess. Uh, she's really good when uh, you're facing the Link 6 Adagnister or the Final Sigma, because you really don't have an out to the to those two cards while playing with this deck. So you literally just summon twice in your opponent's turn, summon normal summon two times in your turn, link those four off in one of your opponent's card, and that's that's one of your way outs for that. Yeah. How many times did you go into your extra deck? Uh, an extra deck, I think I went once against a Drytron player. Uh, he stopped me by activating Lance, and then I just normal summoned. And I was able to go to uh, Zeus, and that, that helped out a lot since I was able to uh, banish his cards so he wouldn't make any materials for XCs. Yeah. For the side, I have three Dark Rulers to help break boards. This uh, helps out a lot because with this deck, it's really hard to break, uh, break any board once it's fully set up. I have three Twin Twister for back row removal and also three Lightning Storm to help out. Uh, Lightning Storm, just in case if they have a lot of monsters, Send all the you could destroy their monsters, and the same with the back row. Um, yeah, that's for the back row. Uh, um, any reason why you're not playing cosmic? Because I know some builds uh, they don't play twin twister because they can't really afford the discard. Uh, well, with this deck, uh, cosmic. If you get Lancia, since Lancia is in a bunch of the main decks or being cited a lot, you won't be able to even activate cosmic. Yeah. So with twin okay. twisters, you could. You, you reoccur a lot of your birds anyway, so being able to afford to discard one card from your hand is, I, in my opinion, okay. And you could target two cards and destroy two instead of just one as well. Yeah, fair. Uh, also got one red reboot for the outlitch or any traps. Then I have three Harpies Featherstorm. This card is really strong. It's basically a turn skip. Uh, you can literally just sit on Barrier Statue or any of your small little birds. If you do get interrupted, this will help you uh, get at least one more turn before you can scoop up or go to next game. And then also, last two will be Dimensional Fisher and Macrocosmos. These cards are just like Shifter, Macro, uh, Fisher right here. You activate it going first. Your opponent can no longer activate cards like Defect, Baylor, or Ogre. Any cards that are required to send monsters to Grave. And the same with Macrocosmos. Macrocosmos, they can't even drop like you anymore. So it's just in general, these two cards are really good. Yeah. I forgot to ask, were you playing uh, 40 cards in the main deck? Yeah, I was running 40 cards in the main. Alright, nice. Now, do you mind telling us uh, what were your matchups and a personal record? 
Uh, my personal record was uh, X1. I went, I won game one against uh, Mech Knights. Game two, I won against uh, Sword Souls. I also won game three against Drytrons. Drytrons was a pretty tough one. And then uh, game four, I lost against Tengi Sword Soul. Uh, we made it second place for Swiss, and we made it to Top Cut. For round one and Top Cut, we we won. I went against uh, Phantom Knights, Brave. I'm sorry, no, I went against uh, Prank Kids, Brave. Uh, that one was a pretty tough matchup as well. And then for round two of Top Cut, I went against Phantom Knights, uh, Brave, DPE. That one, that one's, uh, wasn't as bad, but that's when uh, my team unfortunately lost. So, yeah, unfortunate. Yeah, we got second in Swiss and then fourth uh, overall. Hey, that's still not that bad. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, well, anyways, thank you for sharing your deck profile. Appreciate it.